In the last video, I took you through our last day at Oshkosh 2021. Today is bittersweet because we don't want to leave, but we also can't wait to sleep in our own beds. On Wednesday morning, we tore down camp, packed the airplane, and taxied runway 27 for departure. On the runway, clear for takeoff, runway 27, start the roll. survived our Oshkosh departure. Uh, it was really simple. We just pulled out of our camp space, taxied maybe a half mile and took off and got out of there. So that couldn't have been easier. So now we're just kind of dodging cloud layers and storms and all that headed back to Bolivar. Uh, I think we're going to stop at Lewis County Airport in Northern Missouri to get fuel. And yeah, we're just kind of enjoying the flight right now. It's pretty smooth. Uh, cloud layer keeps the sun out of our eyes. So yeah, we're just enjoying it. It was a good trip, but I am tired and ready to go home. <laughs> yeah, we are exhausted. I tell you what, I've been missing my bed and a real toilet for a long time. 50,000 steps in two days. My hips, they're ready to Crazy. rest. But, man, it was an awesome show. A lot of cool airplanes, a lot of cool people. Uh, it's been a really fun experience. Yeah, I get to see that. Uh, 747 up close and go inside of it was pretty awesome. Yeah, and the C-17, and we didn't get to go in the flying hospital, which would have been cool. And the uh, German plane, they were going, they were doing tours of that, weren't they? Yeah. Yeah. That was, I mean, that thing that buffed awful, or however you say it was big, and then the queen of the skies, the 747 pulls in, you're like, oh. <laughs> I mean, it's just massive. It's incredible. Um, had some really, really awesome air shows, and I, I didn't think camping was that bad. I mean, it was it was hot there for a little bit, but it was I slept fine most nights. My air mattress, and good blankets. Besides, when it started storming on us. That's true. We did have quite a bit of rain, uh, not last night, but the night before. Uh, rain and wind, and I was holding on to my tent, making sure it wasn't gonna blow over. But, oh well, that's part of Oshkosh, I guess. But as much fun as we had, we're just ready to be home, be in our own beds, our own showers. So. Air conditioning. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's funny how you take all these silly little things for granted until you don't have them for five days. And yeah, I'm looking forward to air conditioning, without a doubt. You know, it was a lot of fun uh, talking to that. Uh, drone operator from the army yeah. about running that UAV. Just the things those things can do is pretty awesome. Yeah, it was. Um, lots of lots of cool people there. Uh, the military guys are they're super fun to chat with. Some of those pilots are absolutely incredible, especially especially the air show pilots. Yeah, that guy in that Yak 110. Oh my gosh! And this guy got two what two Yak 55s. Put them together at the wing and then put a jet engine on the belly. And it's it's ridiculous. I mean, he has that thing that can hover, it can climb vertically. It's just a machine. And the, the Red Bull Air Force, you know, they blow us away every year. I was really impressed with uh, Cirrus Jet and just Cirrus as a company and a whole. I mean, those people are just super nice, willing to talk to you, 
uh, lets you look around and stuff. And you know, you go somewhere and you're looking at a plane that's several million dollars to buy, and I mean, you have people that are willing to talk to you about it, not just base anything off how you look. If you look like you can afford yeah. it or not, uh -huh. they will sit there and talk to you, and that's pretty awesome. Yeah, I think that definitely says something about the company. Uh, not only do they make a fantastic product, but from everything I've heard with Sirius, they're just awesome people to work with. And yeah, it's a super cool company. Uh, Textron was really cool. Uh, they had a new CJ4. Uh, they had the Sky, oh shoot, what's that? Sky Courier. Yes, they had the Sky Courier there. Uh, they did a flyby, they only did one flyby. I really wanted to get pictures of it in flight, but couldn't do it. That was super cool. We got to go up and, you know, ride up on it. You know, I was really impressed on how fast that Sky Courier was. Yeah, it was Honestly, moving. Honestly, yeah. For a fixed gear, you know, big old hunk of aluminum built to work, it was pretty quick. Uh, it sounded good. It was definitely impressive. Yeah, I can't wait to see where they go with this. I mean, obviously, UPS is going to run with it, but I think they could do a really cool like a bigger caravan, like an executive plane with it. Oh yeah, uh, I, I think so. Because the operating costs have been, it's been designed to be such a cheap airplane to maintain. I think that could make a really cool business executive aircraft out of it. Similar to a Kodiak or a caravan with the uh, executive interior, but with the twin engine reliability, some more speed, better useful load, stuff like that. So it'll, it'll be super cool. You know, this is kind of just the beginning of the Sky Courier program and I've been following it for a little while. Uh, but it was just unreal to see it in person and super cool to see it fly. They had the Denali fuselage there inside of a trailer that you could kind of see what the interior looks like. And they're actually, they're going to make that a Beechcraft. They're not making that a Cessna anymore. I feel like they had another new plane. Oh, they had, a, they had the, the new King Air 380 there. Uh, we also had the infamous Scrappy there. Uh, Mike flew in yesterday morning in the middle of the thunderstorms to have that thing at the show in front of the Garmin booth. It was, it was crazy. I mean, the thing didn't have wings two or three weeks ago. They were just a CAD drawing. And the attention to detail, I mean, the big old it had four shocks on it. It had solar panels and the wings. I mean, it's just a beast. Lycoming 780 with nitrous in it. I can't wait to see videos of that thing flying. I didn't get to see it fly, but. You know, just the people in the campground too. How nice they were. Oh, we had, walk up to we had anybody. so much fun. And our, our neighbors that were right next to the Dakota, they were from Springfield. I mean, 45 minutes away. The people in the aviation community is, is just awesome. Uh, you can make friends with anybody there. It doesn't matter, you know, how nice your airplane is, how big it is, how much money you have. We all just, we're all just seen as aviators and aviation enthusiasts. And I think there's something to be said about that. And I think those attributes are lacking in a lot of other different hobbies and industries, so. I think that was really cool. So I definitely had a ton of fun on this trip. You know, a lot of people probably won't understand it because they weren't there, but how much fun it was just on Sunday to sit there yeah. literally all day and just listen to the uh, tower talk to these planes that they were bringing oh, to the yeah. planning. These I mean, flight controllers were having so much fun bringing down these planes. It was just, I mean, you could feel the fun and it made it fun <laughs> to watch. You know, you watch the planes land, and then on top of that, you're hearing the planes talk to tower, tower talk to the planes, and that's just pretty awesome. Yeah, we had a little handheld radio that we put on uh, runway 27 tower frequency, and we were just camping out well, at the threshold of nine. So we were, I mean, two, 5,000 feet away from all these planes, but we could see them and uh, listen to them. And man, we, we sat there for probably six hours just watching planes. And then last night they did the uh, departures from runway nine. And we had everything taxiing up. I mean, we had a T6 right next to the scout, right next to our tent. Uh, everybody was, I was worried the tents were going to blow over there. We had, shoot, what, three citations, probably six or seven King Airs, six or seven PC-12s, and a DC-3 all right there. I got some incredible pictures and video of them. I'll throw some of the pictures up right now. Just awesome. And you never get to, never get to be that close to them. And the DC-3, it was just majestic. It was awesome. Yeah, those, uh, those people there have so much going on, they don't really have time to who's who's near the runway and who's not near the runway. I know. <laughs> yeah, they're all preoccupied with the airplanes. Because we were less than 100 feet from those King Airs and stuff as they were sitting there on the taxiway getting ready to take off. All right, well, we're about 66 nautical miles from Lewis County. So we're going to stop there, get some fuel, and then 
check on back to Bolivar, so we'll talk to you guys later. Bolivar traffic, Cherokee 3029 Hotel is 7 miles to the north, inbound landing 18 Bolivar.